Friday CVMS, my name is Vicki Sanders and my name is Lexi Flowers and today is October 22nd and it's also National Color Day. Color Day focuses on the impact it has on each of us. Color is powerful. It can affect a mood, draw attention, or even cause alarm. Yellow means happy! Red means excitement, love, and strength. Green means relaxation. <laughs> Blue means peace and serenity. Brown means enough! enough. Moving on, last month was Hispanic Heritage Month. Millions of Americans traced their roots back to Spain, Central and South America, Mexico, and the Caribbean. Lasting from September 15th through October 15th, National Hispanic Heritage Month is an official celebration honoring their collective ancestry. Let's check out some good news. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch can now be cleaned. An ocean cleaning system consisting of two boats dragging a very long net in a U-shape behind them nicknamed Jenny, successfully netted around 2,000 to 20,000 pounds of garbage in its first trial. It's carbon neutral, able to capture microplastics, and designed to pose absolutely no threat to wildlife. Current estimates predict that if 10 Jennies were developed to the five major oceans garbage sites, then 90% of all floating plastics could be removed by 2040. There are obvious challenges, like the fact that millions of pieces of plastic flow into the oceans every year. Nevertheless, this is a huge breakthrough in the cleanup of ocean plastics and one worth celebrating. Locally, the weather this weekend looks good with partly cloudy skies and the temperatures in the high 50s. You can go outside and enjoy mo some more Halloween activities such as lantern festivals, trick-or-treating at the Pittsburgh Zoo, or Fright Night at Kennywood, and numerous more. Okay, on to some school announcements. Remember to buy your yearbooks early to save money. The longer you wait, the more expensive they become. Share some pictures for the yearbook, including sports, events, clubs, and social time, to CV CVMS yearbook at cvsd.net. Also, Toki Trout is on Monday. Make sure to bring your walking shoes for a fun day outside on the track. Okay, CV, let's take a look at this week's features. Welcome back to another CV Sports Minute. I'm John Paparella. And I'm Brad Dunlap. Let's dive into the pond. The CV... Colts have been skating away with their latest victory against Wheeling Catholic, 6-2. Richie Francis and Noah Callender each scored two goals. Sticking with the water sports, CV swim team beat Baldwin Alba Vernon at their last two swim meets. Now let's talk about the girls volleyball team. They've been on a roll beating Upper St. Clair and Baldwin Middle School. Keep it up, girls. I don't know if you guys have heard the buzz, but CV Middle School football team came back with 20 points the last two minutes of their final game. The 20-point comeback has came from two onside kicks and two Tayshawn touchdowns. Don't be modest, John. We all know what came from you. Thanks, Brad. We do have one highlight on the field, not from football, but soccer. Let's go look at it. Representing the girls' soccer team, Sophia Lamatrice with a beautiful cross. And there's Jordan Jones to fire to the back of the net. Congratulations on a great season, girls. Now let's take a look at the charge-up challenge of the week. Welcome to the very first CV Charge Up Challenge of the Week. We have Coach K and Morgan Big Arm Soberman. We're doing the football challenge for the first round. If you hit the can, it's one point, and if you make it in, it's two. At the start of the second round, the score is Coach K four and Big Arm Soberman three. Coach K, how do you feel about it? Well, they don't call me Patty, but um, but um, but um, but um, my home's for nothing there, Jules. How do you feel about that? Round two. Two points for hitting the can, four points for making it in. <laughs> At the end of round two. Coach K with 12, Big Arm Silverman with 9. In round 3, it's 3 points for hitting the can and 6 points for making it in. And there you have it with the very first CV charge up challenge. Coach K with 18, Morgan Big Arm Silverman with 9. 
Teachers one, students zero. Back to you. And that's it for another CV Sports Minute. See you next time, CV. This is Mr. Mescal and he teaches art at CVMS. What's more rad, your beard or Mr. Kaplan's mustache? Well, I hate to self-promote, but probably my beard. Can you explain the evolution of your facial hair? Um, I saw a guy one time that had like a pointy beard, like a little pointy beard, and I was like, oh, that looks cool, and I think I'd like to try to emulate that, so then I started growing it, and then I got out of control. The evolution of Mr. Muscala's beard. like a pointy beard, like a little pointy beard. And I was like, oh, that looks cool. And I think I'd like to try to emulate that. So then I started growing it, and then I got out of control. I got out of control. And then I got out of control. Why did you become an art teacher? Because I really like art, and I really like working with people. Who's your favorite artist? Um, that's a really hard question. I think there are lots of different artists that are like my favorite, but right now I'm into an artist. Her name's Julia Meritus, and she does this really interesting layered work, and she's amazing. I'm Mr. Mascala, and today I'm gonna do an art challenge. I'm gonna paint blindfolded. It's a fireball, if you can't tell. And I call this one, Fire Supernova. What's your favorite TV show? Naruto. How tall are you? Six foot. How many kids do you have? Five. And they range from age 22 to 14. Well, this has been another teacher feature. He's an anime person. Darn. My beard. Because I often think about ripping off Mr. Kaplan's mustache. <laughs> <laughs> cut! Cut! I was kidding! <laughs> no violence. All just love here at the middle school. You didn't have to do that, but... <laughs> okay.
that's it. Who is this? Hi, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <sighs> Please excuse my asthma. So, as I was saying, I think that your car's extended warranty... Okay, well that's a wrap. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day, CV! What? How did we know when to say that? Oh shoot! <laughs>